What's up everybody and welcome back to Bassinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and we have to give a huge thank you to some of our viewers. I want to thank Ken and Rob. Ken from the Bare Bones Disc Golf Group in Arizona. Uh, when we did a video uh, announcing our partnership with Infinite Discs, uh, we tried to get some Discraft Kongs and they sold out quickly. We weren't able to get them. The next week we had two Kongs in the mail. Huge thank you to our friend Rob Price for this one and Ken for sending us this one. Uh, we can't thank you enough guys for that. Uh, we appreciate that. Because of these two guys, uh, we're doing these reviews and giveaways. If you want to enter to win one of these discs, stay tuned to the end of the video and you can find out how to enter. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. OB. Yep. OB. <laughs> OB. Well, had to have an idea. There you go. What are you throwing, Thomas? On that cone. On that cone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Over stable. Sweet. There's the other cone. Owie! <laughs> <laughs>
Carrie did it. Your shoe? Yeah. That's your foot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this one? Still driving. What's up, everybody? Uh, this is my review of the Kong. Um, I like the disc. Um, for me, I think it's slightly overstable. Um, it feels good in the hand. Um, I don't really know what plastic this is. ESP. ESP plastic. ESP plastic. But um, I've heard it throws like another disc of another brand. But I haven't thrown that disc, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I do like this disc though, so um, I would I would bag it. I may. I don't know, but I like it. This is my disc review for the Kongs. Uh, I like the Kongs. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say it's kind of like a destroyer. Uh, you know, it's really windy out today, so I'm, I'm not sure if it was the wind.
wind issue or what, but it, it didn't feel like it was that overstable to me uh, compared to a destroyer. Uh, but you know, if you uh, put some anhyzer on it, it, it will take flight and uh, come back every time. It holds a, a hyzer line good. Uh, you know, it's got some super sick colors. But uh, it feels good. I know uh, a lot of people are crazy about these things coming out new and they look good and they feel good. And, This is my review of the cones. Well, for my arm speed, I don't really have anything like positive I can do with these discs. Um, now, I used to throw a destroyer. I used to flick it back, and that's all I used to do. And the flight doesn't feel the same to me. So I don't know what everybody else is saying about that. Um, now, for people that have higher arm speed than me, Josh and Jerry, it was getting some good flights out of it. But as far as for me, I just don't know if I'll ever even throw one again. <laughs> no use for them. But uh, I hope everybody else likes them because I like Discraft. Okay, this is my review of the Kong from Discraft. Um, once again, huge thank you to the guys who sent us these, Ken and Rob. Thank you so much. Can't thank you enough for that. Uh, the plastic feels great as opposed to older Discraft ESP. I was never a fan of older ESP Discraft. Uh, uh, quite frankly, I thought it felt pretty bad. Uh, but these actually feel a whole lot better. It's got that swirly blend in there. Look at the back of that. I mean, even even the one that's just uh, solid is just pretty swirled. So uh, they've came a really long way with their plastic. The ESP plastic is uh, feels like top-notch plastic now, in my opinion. A little bit flexible, but not too much. Um, as far as far as the disc itself, uh, not quite as overstable as I had thought. As everybody said, uh, people compare them to a destroyer. In my opinion, uh, no, it's I don't I don't believe it's uh, anywhere near as overstable as a destroyer. Now, uh, as Jerry said, very windy today. I'm sure you hear it on the video, so that could have. Uh, factored in a little bit but uh, yeah it's to me it's not quite as our same if you turn this over it'll actually hold it and stay uh, fairly straight so uh, even when I released it flat I mean it just rolled straight for a lot further than I thought it was going to before it faded out and uh, it's a good disc I mean it feels good in the hand for it to be a high-speed driver I don't normally like uh, too wide of a rim but it, it doesn't feel bad whatsoever some good flex but, it's a good disc, get some good distance out of it, more than I thought I was going to do, so yeah, uh, try one out for sure. Okay everybody, that's it for the review of the Kong from Discraft. Once again, huge, huge thank you to the two guys who sent us these, Rob and Ken. We can't thank you enough. It's amazing that you uh, love the channel so much that you sent us these to review. It was amazing of you guys to do that, so thanks from the bottom of my heart and the guys as well. Um, if you want to enter to win one of these discs, what you want to do is go to our Facebook page. There's going to be a post where we share this video. Comment with a number 1 through 100 and let us know what you thought of the video. Click like on that post and make sure you like our page, uh, our BDGC Facebook page. If you do not have a Facebook page, do the same thing right here on YouTube. Comment with a number 1 through 100, let us know what you thought of the review, and uh, click like on the video and make sure you're subscribed to BDGC. Uh, that's all for the review. So. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. Here lies Kong. To tell you, you know, this is not my first. idea, Josh. I'm jumping back and forth. But, uh, Kong bass. Kong flat. Don't hit the parking rig. <laughs>
Looks like he's been, been hit a couple of times. <laughs> Cotton candy Kong. Got the Kong, the lemon Kong. <laughs> lemon, <laughs> lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. Do you want to try another Anheuser with that one? Yeah. I think you see that. Yeah, Griffin. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm out. Come on, shoot. Shoe tie. Flat release. Flat 264. <laughs> Kong, Anheuser. We'll I catch know, it. I was fixing that one wrong move, the one you'll be eating it. Yeah, he can make it up right catch it with my teeth. <laughs> Jason can catch it with his teeth. I'll give you five dollars. You put that down on your dentist bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Good Lord. <laughs> that was a little hard to follow. <laughs> and that's why I don't flick. <laughs> that was CT Jason. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Let me see that call. Conk, conk, that conk, conk. <laughs> Conflict. Your call will show up. Yeah. Uh, I can't find it. I tried. <laughs> you broke it. Yellow Kong, yellow Kong. Go, go for it. That's oh. great. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, See you later. Yeah. Hey, I've seen people fall, but they don't look fine. Alright, you roll. What's up, everybody? Uh, this is my review. Oh. <laughs> I want to think about these dicks, so. uh, Once again, before I get started, I want to give a huge thank. Crap. Stush. God. God. Who commented? Hold up. Let me see who that was. Somebody ruined something. Thank you, Paul Warren. I don't even know who you are. Okay. Good. Okay. This is my review of the call. Once again, huge thank you to the guys who sent us these. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Ready? I even got the train in the Ready? background. <laughs> 